Good morning! And uh, welcome once again to my uh, latest video instalment. Where's my phone? This one is going to be cooking. Yes, I'm going to cook. Seems to be popular, my uh, little cooking in a lorry. It's cooking with Nigella. Uh, where's my Nigella app? Nice, there we go. Uh, I'm thinking I might do four. So one a week for a month. Fairly simple things. Uh, again, just to prove that you don't need to eat shit if you live in a lorry. The first one I'm going to do is this one called Back from the Bar Snack. So when you stagger back to your lorry, drunk out of your mind, you can just raid the fridge. No, it just looked really tasty. It's uh, just some potatoes and uh, uh, so on. There we go, look, that's it there. And it's supposed to be really simple. So I'm gonna do that one first. I'm now going to go, I'm in London, the London, to Borough Market and buy some overpriced middle-class food uh, to construct this creation of mine. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Channeling Tony Blair now. I'm going to the Mockot. I always used to say Mockot. So yes, that's what the plan is. This is the introduction. Ramshackle as ever. Do you like my quiff? I had my hair cut yesterday. I've got a quiff now, look. I went to bed with my hair, obviously. <laughs> I went to bed with my hair. <laughs> and then I woke up with an even bigger quiff. How did that happen? I got a super quiff. I know you all like my hair. So there we go. Uh, yes, so I'm going to go shopping and get the ingredients. I shall see you later. This is Borough Market. It's rammed. Not been here before. Too many people. This t shirt saying, More goat, less guilt. I like the idea of having a goat t shirt. Lovely food though. I'm going to spend too much money. Just walking back to the lorry now from the market with my ingredients. This is the London. My lorry is parked over there, the other side of that big domey thing. I think it may be some sort of church. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and there's the new skyscraper, the toothpick. The gherkin. Where's my finger? Matt West Tower. A boat. Lots of people. Another boat. So yes. Good times. Just a quick tip if you're in London, this is one of my favourite places, the beach. It's actually really nice. It's really quiet down there for some reason. You can't really hear anything. And there's steps all the way along. You can see steps and then you can walk up and down the beach. It's lovely. Lovely. Just wandering back. Look, this is the Barbican. I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like living up there. Can you imagine the views? Hello, it's me again. I'm back from the Borough Market. 
with food. Food, food, food. Ingredients for my recipe and a few bits and pieces beside. Some duck eggs. Delicious, beautiful duck eggs. I love duck eggs. Much nicer than chicken eggs. Although I like chicken eggs too. Uh, I had some greedy goat ice cream. I like goats. That goat's holding a spoon. Some uh, fancy toasted garlic mayonnaise. Some fancy walnut bread. The streaky bacon for the recipe. Uh, some fancy raw butter. Don't know what makes butter raw. Probably die of some awful food poisoning now. Uh, a nice steak. Potatoes for the recipe. Look at that funny strawberries for a pound. British strawberries too. No, no, English strawberries. I got one of these as well to stick to the camera to the windscreen so the camera video should hopefully become a bit more steady. Steady? A bit more steady. A bit more steady. It will eventually become more and more professional. They won't, they will they? Let's face it. Even though it was one of the world's premier food markets, I couldn't find any bloody cheddar cheese. It must have fallen out of fashion amongst the middle class foodies. So I had to go to Tesco's for that. And uh, Tesco's for the peas as well. Some cigars. Might have one of them now. Or oh, these. These are lovely. If, like me, you have a caffeine addiction and get a bit bored of Red Bull, they sell these in Tesco's Starbucks double shop coffees. And they have more caffeine than uh, Red Bull. And they are delicious. In fact, I'm probably going to drink a bit of it now. Absolutely lovely. Mmm, cheers. So that's it, really. I want some cherry wheat beer. It's really nice, but it's reminisce, not the market. I think that's everything covered. Yes, I want a copy of The Big Issue. Because I'm concerned about the homeless and I'd like to help them in any way I can. I very rarely actually read the big issue. There we go. So yes, I shall be cooking later on because it's too early now because I've just had some lunch, a spot of lunch. Uh, yeah, stick with it. Might get better. Probably isn't though, is it going to get any better? We can try, can't we? We can try. Okay, see you in a bit. Farewell. Hello. Right, here we go. Cooking. Streaky bacon. From a butcher called the Ginger Pig. Where's my scissors? Wow, well, I should have planned this further, should I? So, cut up the bacon into little bits. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry about the noise from outside, but I have to have the window open, otherwise it gets a bit hot and smoky. I love bacon. I should have cut this up first as well, really. I'm never going to make a TV show. Not that I'm ever planning to. be a TV anything, despite what some people think. I only make the videos for fun. Anyway, there we go. So the bacon's cooking. The potatoes are done. This is really quick actually, this is why I'm leaving the video on. Peas, stick them in with the potatoes, turn the heat up. Stir them. Got that 
smells delicious, absolutely delicious. What's next? Where, where's my phone? What? Oh, there it is. Nigella, see? Aha. Wait for the peas to warm up a bit. Then drain. Oh, yes, the egg. Hang on. Whisk them up. Like so. Add some cheese. Right, drain the um potatoes and peas. Potatoes and peas into the pan. Oh, there's the pork. Stir them through. Eggs and cheese. Stir that through. Sorry, this is boring, but isn't it? And the Kent onto a plate. and spill bits on the floor. And there you have it. A nice, delicious tea. Mm. That's really good. Very simple. Quick, easy to make. Let's get my uh, beverage out the fridge. Some nice ginger ale with a chicken on it. The chicken made the ginger ale. So there you have it. Like I say, I think this will be the first of four parts. Probably get a bit more complicated towards the end. Thought I'd start simple. Ah, that's nice ginger ale. So, thank you. And good night. So there we have it, the delicious dinner. That was absolutely delicious, I've never made it before. I'm now going to, uh, oh, I've left the radio on. I'm listening to Craig Charles. I'm now going to finish my ginger beer. My lovely empty plate. Yeah, make this video. Cheers. So be happy everybody. Despite what people are saying on the forums, I just want people to be happy. Why can't everybody just live and do their own thing without judging everybody else all the fucking time? See, I'm launching into a rant now. Is it that hard?
apparently so. A lot of bitter and miserable people out there. Thankfully, I don't think any of them watch my videos. So. Have a lovely evening, one and all, or a morning, or an afternoon, or a night. I'm going to sit back, listen to Craig Charles, and edit this video. Farewell. Oh. Six music, it's the way forward.